Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool text animation into After Effects using a built-in transition called the card wipe. So with that said and done, let's just get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to create a new composition and let's just name this tutorial. 1920 to 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds hit ok then let's just create our first text so i'm going to hit ctrl t and type in let's just type in motion and you can type in whatever you want and i'm just going to pretty quickly center this up like so and then i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and Let's just type in, let's say, graphics like so, and we just drag this below motion. And I'm gonna change the color of the first text that is the motion to something like a hot pink, maybe. So, first of all, we need to pre compose. So, I'm gonna right click and pre compose the motion and pre compose the graphics text. And now we can hide the graphics text because we don't need to see it. And then I'm going to go to my effects and preset and type in card wipe. Now as you can see card wipe is a transition for videos but we can use this for creating some cool animations as well. So you can see right off the bat if I increase the transition completion you can see this cool kind of a transition happening but it's happening on a single text so we need to select the second text as well so where it says the back layer I'm gonna select 02 that is the second text and now you can see transition is happening from the first text to the second text and this can be really, really helpful for creating some amazing effects so now we can crank up the rows so we get some different effect which looks really really nice you can also play around with the columns and create some different effects But for now, I'm going to set the columns to 50 and the rows to 20. So now we need to make it a little bit of more random because you can see the transition is happening from left to right. So now you can increase the random seats that is timing randomness. Then I'm going to keyframe the transition completion. So I'm going to go to very beginning of the comp and set and create a keyframe on the transition completion. Then I'm going to come to let's say 2 seconds and set this to 100. So now we have a basic transition happening from the first text to another. Something like that. So now I'm going to go directly to the position jitter and there we have some really cool parameters that you can play around with. X jitter amount, the Y jitter amount and crank it up and we're going to take at this a bit later. So for now, I'm going to just work with the Z jitter amount, you can see. So I'm going to come to the beginning of the comp and set a keyframe on the Z jitter amount. Go to one second and set this to let's say 15 should work good. Then I'm going to go to the two seconds and set this to zero. So now, if I pretty quickly, you can see, we get this really cool looking transition or morphing whatever you can say but it looks really really nice so I just select this keyframes pretty quick and ease ease them by hitting F9 in the keyboard so you can see it looks really interesting now wh what I can do is I can just control D to duplicate this layer and add a different color so we can just add a fill on it like so maybe I'll change the color to something like an orange which looks good and play around with the timing randomness so let's just set this to 0.7 so there we get some randomness and you can see it looks really nice that orange accents on to the red layer looks really really nice so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the X and the Y jitter amount so we need to keyframe this parameters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very beginning of the composition create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch of the X jitter amount and the Y jitter amount 
then I'm gonna go to one second and set this to let's say two and this to two as well go to the end of the transition and set this back to zero and now I hope we should get some really nice animation or transition or morphing whatever you can call it and as you can see this looks really really nice and interesting and you can use this effect or this kind of a technique to create some really cool title animations for your videos or stuff like that and you can see it's that simple to create and you can also do some experimentation you can create some number of copies and do some crazy stuff with this I mean, just select the keyframe and hit F9 to easy ease all the keyframes select by hitting ctrl A to select all and hit U to close them up so this is looking really really good now the best part about this effect is you can instantly go into your text and change the text animation so I'm going to just type in my name pretty quick in the first text and in the second text I'm gonna just type in let's say let's just type in motion designer I mean why not and there we go and now you can see instantly we get this really cool effect so you can use this in any kind of text you want you can change the text whenever you want you know add more stuff add more text you can also add you know like images if you want and create this cool stuff so this effect has a quite a large or to say you know quite a large amount of things that you can do with this effect so and it is very very helpful and you can see it hardly took us five minutes to create this cool title animation so this can be really really handy to design now one more thing you can do with this thing is let's say if I just add glow into my second layer that is the duplicated layer it will just make this pop out a bit so I'm gonna set the threshold to let's say maybe 70 should work good yeah that looks good the glow radius to 15 and the glow intensity to 2 and you can see that glow makes it looks even a bit better yeah, that is looking good but I don't like this kind of a glow that pops out at the end from the edges of the text so we need to keyframe that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the very beginning of the comp and set the glow intensity to 0 and then I'm gonna go to one second that is the middle of the animation and set this to let's say 5 or maybe 5 is a bit too much maybe I'll keep this to 3 and go to the end of the transition and set this back to 0 and now you can see our animation looks even a bit more better it kind of pops out and give that really cool look to it you can also play around with the rows and columns if you want to and create some abstract looking effects or maybe more kind of a dynamic effects if you want to but this may slow down your system a bit because it takes a lot of memory so but it's okay you know get some really nice really nice effects you can follow me on twitter instagram and facebook if you want to see what's coming up next on my channel and stay updated with me so as you can see it looks really really nice so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thanks for watching guys I might look like this.